And we are back. This is The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, Season 1, Episode 3. Last week's episode was really good. I'm really loving this show so far. After this episode, we'll be halfway done. I really did not expect to like these spinoffs this much. <sighs> but yeah, like I said, last week's episode was really good. <sighs> I'm not too sure what to expect for this episode, but... The first two have been really fucking good, so I'm sure this one will be just as good, too. What the fuck? Le père Jean, il est avec vous Nada. Non. C'est notre ami. Il nous a aidé à venir jusqu'ici. Il parle pas français, juste anglais. My name is Fallon. There is Emil. Hello, Fallon. And only him, he knows where he goes. So instead of a radio, we have Maybe pigeons? he has a girlfriend. No one's been able to console her. Oh, it's kind of sweet. But he's not Nope. Test subjects is one of them. Dynamic is really a highlight this season, and so is she. She's an amazing well, I'm character. Glad past crossed. Well, we should get going. Oh my god, that's the kid from oh, last god. last oh, last wait. episode. The flashback in the beginning. That's the little girl. Stay close. Oh. Fuck. Okay, now we gotta move. Oh, ew, ew, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Man, you can see, look, it's veins through its face. Oh, good. Help us out, buddy. I'm oh, sorry, sweetie, but she's gone. Oh. 
Where are we? Okay. The catacombs, brother. Among the remains of the six million died in La Peste Noire. Cool. The Black Death. Creepy. I mean, mostly creepy, but yeah, kind of creepy. America is in infant. But here, we survive many apocalypses. But why is the sequence kind of cool, though? We survive this one, too. Still creepy, though. Oh, fuck. It's, what's his name? Quinn? That was, that's 100% Quinn. Scott. Is it probably there? Yep. Sorry, Mr. Queen. You know the rules, but not. I'm mistaken. There's no weapons allowed in there. What's he gonna do? Not kill him? <laughs> oh! Or just do that. Oh, it's gonna be nice. Huh? It's kinda cool, though, honestly. Uh, I could be totally wrong here, but what if Quinn's the father? Like I said, I could be totally wrong. I don't know. I got that right. I knew it. Knew he was the dad. You shouldn't keep that from a man. I don't care the circumstance. A boy should know his dad, shouldn't he? I should know his dad. It's a mistake. You killed her. And I saved you. Who was it found you bleeding in the bathtub? Hmm? Picked you up, carried you to the hospital, nursed you back to health. That was me. I don't want to talk it? about this. I am here Isabel. to help my friend get home. You want to help him? Well, now you know the terms. Oh my God. No. No. It's all right, Daryl. I can do this. No. Fuck him. It's okay. Right. Fuck. I don't need a boat. Oh fuck. Bitch had to show up. What does it mean? Que surprise. Madame Genet and I have an arrangement. My place is off limits. We won't be long. We are looking for an American. I understand he has been here. His name is Daryl Dixon. He's gonna sell him out. Good, post credits. We have like two minutes left. How are we gonna end this? Hey! <laughs>
<laughs> so we got a cliffhanger. Daryl thrill, thrill, fell through the roof. And now we have to wait a whole week. Obviously he's going to be fine, but you know, still. So I really enjoyed this episode. It was definitely not really an action episode until like the last like five minutes. It was more like a... I can't really describe it, but it was, it was more less on action, but in a way it still drove the story forward. So Quinn being Laurent's father, that I saw coming. <laughs> like right when she told him about Lily, I was like, mm, I got that vibe. I was like, yeah, he's the dad. And so Cadrin, whose first name is Stefan, I'm gonna call him Stefan, is now working for Jeanette, Jeanne, I think that's how you pronounce her name. And yeah, we got some scenes with her too in her test subjects. When that one walker was doing something, it was like it was dying from the inside. It was fucking gross and fucked. I need more answers about these people. Like, why are they doing this? Like, why? Well, she's in the next episode, so maybe we'll get some answers. <laughs> and I love how Stefan was like talking to her about how he wants to all day. Cause like, oh, I made a promise that I would protect my brother and now the American made me lie. I'm like, sorry. Don't give a fuck about your brother. <laughs> but I'm fully expecting him to die by the end of the season. As for Janae, I feel like she'll live. I feel like she's more important. And now we're officially halfway done. I have to say though, I did feel like toward the end of the episode that something big was gonna happen, like we were gonna, gonna get something, cause like, it felt a little too, I wanna say safe, I can't just grab the feeling, like it felt like something was gonna happen. Once Stefan and everyone else showed up at the nightclub, I was like, yeah, something big and bad's coming. <laughs> so we got some, we got a little action in the last five minutes, it was nice. And next week looks really good. I hate that I have to wait a week. Like I just knew something was gonna happen at the end. I know, Daryl had to go and fall through the roof. I know it wasn't on purpose, but you know. And now I have to wait a week to see what happens. Like obviously he's fine, but you know. Hmm. Quinn's a little shit. Selling us out. Well, technically he sold Daryl out, but you know. And I just, can I just say how much I really love Isabel. She's honestly probably the highlight of the show. Like, she's just a fantastic character. and Her dynamic with Daryl is so fucking good. I would, she's really the best part of the show for me. Like, I, I love Daryl and everything, but Isabel, she's definitely the highlight of it. I don't want... It's like... I know I always say this, but like, when it comes to these spin-offs being six episodes, it's like, I'm mixed about it. Like, yes, because it means they can just get right to it with the story, but it's like, no, because it goes... Because Dead City flew. This is flying, too. I mean, it's okay, because... After Dead City, we had to wait like two months for this to come on. But after this, we have 8B of Fear, which I'm very excited for. And then The Ones Who Live is next year. I'm so excited for that one. <laughs> it's Rashawn. Of course I'm excited. But I'm really enjoying it. I, I love Dead City. I'm loving this so far. I already know The Ones Who Live is going to be fucking iconic. But yeah. 
Anyway, that is it for now. That is, I almost said Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> this is The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, season one, episode three. Overall, another really good episode. I really, Even though it wasn't really action-packed until like the last five minutes, I personally enjoyed it. Like, it drove the story forward without relying on action, if that makes sense. And next week looks really, really good. So I'm very excited to see what happens in the, in the second half of the season. I genuinely have no idea how they're going to end this season while also setting up season two. I do feel like Stefan's going to die. When it comes to him and Janae, Janae feels more important. He doesn't. So I can see him dying and her living. Because, like, we still haven't even scratched the surface with her and her motives, so I definitely don't see her dying anytime soon. Because I need answers, okay? I need a lot of answers. I still have a lot of questions. But anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this episode and your theories for next week's episode, and I will see you guys next time.